Look at my, he was curl. Oh, you did? How did it go? Not well. Oh. Because, like, this side of my hair fell out. <laughs> so it's just straight. And then this side yeah, was, like. the light. Oh. It, well, it looks really cute in ponytail. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> did you think you had to use it with You know hair? what? <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but you know what? The reason I had it with my wet hair mm -hmm. was because I swear on the box it says with wet or dry hair. Like, I don't think – I think people do that. I've never seen it done. I'm sure it's possible, but, like, that's just such a long process. Like, to Well, no, I think you sleep in them wet. Oh, I don't like sleeping with wet hair, though. Oh, I sleep with wet hair. Whenever I shower. 99% of the time I shower – I shower at like 8 p.m. and I get in bed with wet hair. Who no. Like soaking wet hair? It's not soaking. Well, it's wet. It probably is. It's wet. You go to the bed. You, I mean, you get in the shower, get ready for bed, get in bed. Correct. That doesn't like hurt your neck. Like, hurt my neck? Yeah. When I wake up. The <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> when I sleep with wet hair, I get like kinks in my neck. Okay. Well, because it's cold. Mm, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, 99% of the time, I sleep with wet hair. So this that was me actively kind of showering in the middle of the day, being like, I'll shower in the middle of the day. So, uh -huh. that <laughs> so you'll try it. I can try these the freaking heatless wave things. And because then I was like going to the city yeah. last night, whatever. And <laughs> it it did not work. I'll tell you that much. So when did you do it? With Last hair. night. Last night, you brought with dry it to hair, the city. I brought it to the city. Got it. I freaking wrapped myself. I feel like I look like Martha Washington, uh -huh. like in the, is that her name? Like sure. the pool thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're in the pool and you used to flip your hair? Yeah. But I thought that was just George. No, I think it's the white. Cool. Because they have the girl. <laughs> they have the fake hair. Um. Okay. Anyway. Moving on. I feel like that's what I looked like. Yes. I looked ridiculous. Like, it was really problem. hard for me to be tagging Bobby Brown in the. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they <laughs> loved that. <laughs> no, I mean, like her, not only Jones Root. I was tagging her because, like, I'm trying to get her on the pod. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good way to do she it. She responded, yeah. and I was like, She responded? Yeah. And, and then I was like, I wish I hadn't done this in these things. Yeah. But whatever. Um, no, but people are doing it. The only thing. I haven't tried it, but the only thing that I'm not understanding is what does the back of your head look like with that? Because if it's just your pieces, yeah. like you're splitting it in half and yeah. rolling it around. So then like when you take it out, is your whole back of your head just like, uh, like a circle and then the curls? Um, you know what I mean? I don't know. My issue is that I think Something my hair is think too about. short now. Because when I was doing it last night yeah. with dry hair, like my layers were coming out. So as I just showed you, like yeah, the yeah, front yeah. on one side is just still straight because it had fallen out overnight. Yeah. Maybe you just get like a curling iron. <laughs> you know, I really thought I, well, A, I have a curling iron. Don't know how to work it because of that. Like, oh, you know, you got to no, open it. No, no you got to get. I thought I had one of those wands. I thought you gave me one. Maybe it's in Princeton because I know I. Did. I know. All right. Well, we got to figure it out. But I, I really like the T3 wand. Okay, we'll link it in the show notes. Two, um, maybe <laughs> no brands reached out about sending nope. you stuff. I'm I sorry. I got nothing. <laughs> um, I got nothing. So all right, we have a lot to recap. I want to. Can we go back and talk about Cedar Lakes for a second? Mm -hmm. Cause like the best ever. It's the best place in the entire world. I know, it really is. I love it so much. Just so relaxing and magical, like homey, and they're just the best staff ever no truly the hospitality and i know we're like i know i'm treated like okay but like me yes like uh, an outsider has not gotten married there obviously not really an outsider because i'm your sister but like it's just insane it's like insane. them opening up the tree house for us did they when for the guys when saturday night oh i didn't know that <laughs> no 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 they literally they texted the number and they were like oh my god we, they were like can we go to use the treehouse which is like where they had the after party 
and it's a gorgeous room. Yeah, with it's like very a bar. different than what it was when we had our after party. And they were like, it's basically like a cabin, but like with couches and everything. And they said they texted and they're like, oh, can we go to the treehouse? And they were like, oh, well, it's closed, but we can open it up for you. Like, the, but there's no bar. And they're like, oh, no worries. And he just we can get some beer. Mm-hmm. And they said, Tyler said that they, that a, like one of the workers just came with like carrying a bunch of beers for them. No, they're, it's not normal. It's crazy. And I just want to do a little plug. Mm-hmm. Well, A, there is a code. I forget what said code is. Oh. We'll put it in the show notes. Um, but a lot of you booked, which like makes me so oh. happy. That's awesome. But I have a call with them today about we're potentially trying to put something together for some moms in the FF fam. So stay tuned because oh God, there be could awesome. be something really fun and it could be the start of something really cool. Like a little retreat? Yeah. Would I be invited if I'm not a mom? Um, You know, yeah. I mean, yeah, you could. But like then Maddie would go and then I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, there's a way to. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I just, <laughs> you know, I really just want our kids to be the same age. Well. Well, you know what, now I am. Oh. No, I haven't. Yeah, my friends are going (laughs) to kill me. No. No, literally. You actually are? Yeah, I really want a third. (gasps) Like, in my head, I've already started planning of when I want to get pregnant. Joe's going to be listening to us being like, bitch, we haven't even decided. Yeah, literally. Like, like, what the fuck? I have this feeling inside me where I'm like, no, I know that there's a third child in our family. Okay, see, I knew this was going to happen because before you got pregnant, Just in general, I was like, I cannot imagine having kids and then having one pop out and your children being as fucking cute as they are, (laughs) being like, we're done here. What would the third one look like? What would the fourth one look like? Well, okay, no, no, no. I know you're not going to have four. After the third. But I'm just saying, like, isn't it so crazy that, like, there's like. Not I just can't infinite, explain but like, it. It's not you, that I don't feel. Like, what would, if you had a bunch of kids, like, what would they all look no, like? No, no. Like, I wish. How crazy wish. would that be? It's not that I feel, like, I do feel like our family is complete, not complete. I feel very, very, very happy with our family. Yeah. But I do lately, there's just this I mean, thing where I'm like, up with I know there's a third in our family. Yeah. And... I also think zero to one really shook me mm-hmm. in a way that one to two didn't. One to two has been humbling. Mm-hmm. Zero to one rocked me. And I feel like I'm just kind of, you know, the chaos is already here. Exactly. I don't know. So, okay, well, this could be good for our Yeah, but kids. the thing is I kind of want to, like, bang it out because, like, I want to. Well, you know, if you want two kids, if you want we'll your see. kids we'll the same see. age. Wait, then they would all be. What? If you, they're all two years apart, then they're all in college together. That's not how that works, honey. Well, th- two oh, th- four. That was so dismissive. I'm so yeah, sorry. What the honey? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm right. Well, no, because. What, they're two and a half years? Yeah, I mean, already I think they're. I think my two right now will be three grades apart because of their birthdays. Oh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I well, honestly, I guess they're not two. They're, I cannot figure out, like, it would have the to grades be, and yeah. birthdays. Oh, that whole thing is, like, overwhelming to me. Okay, so, th- but still, well, just wait a little bit longer. All right, we'll see. So then it could be, like, even if you did, you're not, you're not going to have a child right now. Mm-hmm. And then I would still need to get married, have a little <laughs> bit of time, get pregnant, have a child. But it could be like two years apart. Yeah, it could be close. And what if it's a girl? Okay, so this I is the only reason why I, I'm already dreading the. Oh, are you trying for a girl? Yeah. No, I'm not. You're not. I'm absolutely not. First of all, you can't fucking do it. Like, yeah. that's not how the world works. Unless you're doing IVF. Yeah. And you can choose, but like, also statistically speaking, if you already have two of one sex, there's such a high percentage that the third will be the same sex. Yeah. That's what everyone says to me. I don't actually know the statistics, but I say statistically speaking because it sounds smarter. Mm-hmm. And also, I would be so happy with three boys. Like, mm-hmm. I'm really not like, I want a third because I want a girl. No. Especially three, like, at that point, it's just like, 
three of the same. Oh my god, it would be. Could you imagine how fun that would be? So fun. I I mean, mean, it's us. Growing up with three girls, it's like you almost want that. But yeah, it's us. Either way, it would be amazing because then a girl with two older brothers, so cool, the best, and then three boys, also the best. Also the best. So no matter what, you win. Um, Okay, I I just selfishly want. I know. know. But fair. I would be really happy with another nephew. Yeah. Um, I feel like I need to say that you were right about the dress, but Thank you. with that being said, I did get a lot of messages that were like, wait, no, I love it. Well, I think it's like, it was too big on me. We're talking about the red dress. Yes. Yes. Well, oh, sorry. People don't know. Else. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. The red dress that she posted on her stories. She sent it to me and I was just like, hmm. It's not that I don't like the dress. It's just so not you mm-hmm. that I was almost... To be totally fair, Jess picked it out. Okay, it's so Jess. <laughs> like, that's the least shocking thing ever. Because if I saw Jess in that, I'd be like, yes, that's so you. Okay. I, like, it's not me. I just, it's so not But it you. kind of reminded me of the Zimmerman dress that I've worn like 10,000 times. The blue yeah. one. But Which is me, literally what I feel like the best in. I love that dress on you. But to me, it's so girly, I think. And I don't think that you're... I don't know if I think it's girly. It feels like high fashion. Well, <laughs> that, yes. <laughs> Which I'm not. But I will say, I am trying to lean a little bit into a girly side. Sometimes. Uh-huh. No, I just don't... It was just something, like... It just wasn't you. Okay. Well, Megan. I also didn't really like the dress. Our sitter. In general. Okay. I still love the dress. Okay. I just thought the bottom was a little too much and it was too big on me. And Megan. The fabric. The fabric was so uncomfortable. That, yeah. that was my reason. Um, But Megan was like, wait, why don't we custom make something like this for your next, like, whatever you have? I have nothing, you know. Yeah. But, like, one day. You should. Yes. And this goes into also something you I've been thinking custom. about. Do you feel like as a society, but as yourself we've lost our own like point of view like everyone's trying to do the same thing yeah or i forget if they talked about this on giggly squad or that show with benny drama is that his Mm -hmm. name Mm -hmm. what's it called ride ride i think okay yeah i love him yeah, I, I don't know him. Like I, He's so funny. I listened to their show a few times, and I think it's funny. I just watched the clips on TikTok because I'm not a podcast listener. Lucy has not listened to any of the episodes that she's been on. Did you listen to Carly's episode? No, I told okay, you I'm going to listen ridiculous. to it tomorrow. Um, I, I can't listen to it at work Okay, because I'm going to be crying. I've been fair. in the office, so I'm saving it for when I'm packing for my trip. Okay. I just... But I don't listen to podcasts, and Kim gets really mad at me. Like, I can't, <laughs> especially can't listen to any of the ones that I'm on. Okay, but anyway, one of those any episodes, of the ones that I any of the ones, ones. <laughs> frequent every single Dear Media <laughs> podcast. No, but I was listening to I forget which one it was, mm-hmm. and they were saying, were they even saying this? Now am I making oh, this up in my head? Whatever. One of them said POV in the sense of like they hate how the videos, like if it's like POV, you're a girl whatever sure. like the tiktoks yes but that's not actually pov like pov of oh. me being a mom in the city would be like a video of my child yes. from my eyes yeah, yeah yeah do you know what i mean yes like it's not a point of view yes like we've just like misused that yeah. term but then it got me thinking about a point of view mm-hmm. and i feel like personally mm-hmm. i'm so easily persuaded lately mm. or like i'll be looking at someone's page who I like the way they look in a certain outfit, but then I'll like order these clothes or I want to order these clothes or I want to do something. And then if I get them, I'm like, this is not me. Like they don't look good on me. I don't like it on me. Yeah. And I I feel like I've lost. Interesting. Even like on topics, I just don't even want to get heated with people. So then I'm just like, oh, like, yeah, I I think it's, I think it's just. Are you meaning like we're losing our like individ- individualistic yes. Yes. properties? Because like. we're just like constantly fucking consuming other people's opinions or that I, yeah. things that they like or whatever. Where then I'm like, what What do I like? Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm the person. Yeah. Like, what do I want? 
I do I do agree with that. I feel like it's I've become less not opinionated, but just like thoughts and views of it's just there's so much content being too much content shoved down our throats and I am heavily addicted to TikTok. You're such a consumer. So I literally am just consuming TikTok my entire day. That it's I I get what you're saying. But how are you able to consume kit? TikTok is like a genuine <laughs> question. How are you able to consume TikTok and leave being like, I feel good? Yeah, I don't. It's just so entertaining to me. And parts of TikTok are entertaining to me. But then other parts, and I don't know if it's because I do this, mm-hmm. where then my head goes to like, well, oh, should I be doing something like that? Or like, yeah, but that's because doing it's this? your job. Yeah, but I think other people Not feel comparative. Yeah, I don't get yeah. that comparative really with anything that i'm watching do you ever get jealous of people um like like you're a case study i know literally no i'm so serious i would love to live in your brain for i don't know if i get jealous of like maybe like the way somebody looks i see a girl and i'm Mm -hmm. like oh my god she's stunning like i but not like it's like a fleeting thought but I also, I think that I'm very privileged and, like, have a happy life. So I'm, like, what? Well, of course. I, I'm not to say that, like, I'm, you can't be jealous. But I don't know. It's, like, a quick thought. Okay. Now, in that line, this is yes. not at all. But I did have a note, oh God. a comment on here. When was the last time you think you worked out? Oh, I saw you put <laughs> Lucy working out in the, in the note. And I was, like... I was like, oh, God, what's gonna, what was she going to say? Um, I don't know. Weeks, I, months. M- months. Like, are you talking a long walk on the West Side Highway? Like, I've done that more recently. That but I know that I ran a mile oh, at right. the beach. <laughs> to prove that you could yeah okay because i yeah basically i really i grew up playing lacrosse and playing sports played lacrosse in college was doing like lift workouts yeah, like yeah. fully comfortable in the gym and then i quit lacrosse junior year didn't really work out and then after college i just like did not work out like here and there would do soul cycle or like peloton did like a pilates class with you but like (laughs) once once? okay but does your body ever crave that's what i think i think it no i think it would be really nice to get in the habit of working out i and i also think my body like for my health i should be working out for your health you should move like i fully understand that there is just something in me that I am like, I think about working out and I physically can't do it. Like Tyler and I were like, okay, let's so dumb. We're going on vacation. Mm -hmm. And Tyler was like, I, it's not dumb. He, Tyler has run a few marathons. And so he really enjoys running. But if he's, if he doesn't have a marathon that he's training for, he doesn't really run as much. Mm -hmm. So he was like, okay, I want to try to run every day for like a week and a half leading up to our vacation and i was like okay what like to shred for the beach (laughs) yeah (laughs) like as if a a week and a half of running i mean a man's world it does that's true but he also no he but he really more likes to give himself like a target and a goal he's very goal oriented yes like that's why he signed up for a marathon because he was like i'm not gonna work out unless i have a goal Mm -hmm. very similar to me where like if somebody's not telling me and i'm not being forced to do it i'm not gonna do it okay so he did that and i was like oh okay like maybe i'll work out too no i didn't and i haven't and i know it's really bad it's not i'm not saying no but health wise yeah health wise it's not good good. it's not good yeah and i've been thinking about i was talking to my friend who also does not work out about this and we were like thinking about like carrying a child wait i was talking with this about this with chloe last night and i was like that that's not gonna be good it's heavy they're yeah. heavy i will say the physicality of motherhood was something i was not expecting mm-hmm. the, but like, i still think i'm really strong 
I, yeah, I don't think you're weak, but it's more, I meant more of like the getting up, getting down, moving mm. around, like that kind of thing. I just am like, I also will say, my body, my brain would go insane. I also will say, I think because of genetics, I don't need to work out for the look of my body. Well, that's vain. I love you. A hundred percent. Yeah. But I'm saying, I, like, I mm. think that's also a reason that I don't because I'm not yeah. gaining weight. I'm not, you know, like genetically, but I think health wise, it's, it's for not sure. good. No, I think health wise, I absolutely need to. And it's something that I really want to try to do, but I'm like, I, I just am so, I don't know if it's like laziness. I don't know. A part of me is like, is it because, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't tell you. Well, I think it's, it's because I've grown up my whole life. Yeah. Being told what exactly what to do lacrosse practices trainings like mom <laughs> mom uh, like give me go run spray no when i in college over the summer i did not work out i would i think i've said this on the podcast maybe before but mm -hmm. mom would force me to go on a run and i would <laughs> literally go sit on the beach and just spray myself with, with the, the hose, hose. <laughs> to make it look like I sweat and come back and be like okay went on like a six mile run and no I just you were running six miles did not or okay. like go do sprints but, but that's I, so like but I did not work out the entire like summer and then I would go and I and would pass the Maryland I mean, that's test crazy. You, oh my god I almost like that is insane to I me by, there's a new turf in our town like they just rebuilt this like community center yeah and I actually think I want to go try the Maryland test. Oh my god! I have I not ran like you... in. I have. I used to do it during COVID. Yeah. Was it COVID? Yeah, because yeah. I was living in Princeton. I did it a few times, and it's the horrible. Maryland test is five two hundreds, ten one hundreds, twenty fifties sprints with like active recovery jogging, and and it's like a crazy time. Yeah, but, but we used to have to pass it for school to be like clear for to lacrosse. play for lacrosse. <laughs> yes, but I had a feeling the other. It was yesterday. I was driving by the turf, and I was like. I wonder if I could do yeah. it. Yeah. So I've been thinking about that. This also brings me to something. But I do want to start doing Kara. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, you I know mean, what's crazy, though, is I pay for it, and I don't do it. Well, I signed up for so it. Dumb. I signed up. So it's like, what's going to get me to do it? <sighs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I can add you to the chat with Mom and Maddie where we, like, send each other links of classes we like. Okay, maybe. I <laughs> was thinking about this, and this just – sparked my memory because of like the running and like fake running and spraying mm. themselves i never did that but i was for like mom would be like go do your sprint like whatever yeah, and you would actually do it could you can you think about the fact that like the linville what did we call it the linville olympics no there was a name for it and that was not it the linville Fuck, what, what? invitational the linville invitational oh my god okay I was thinking about this. Like, you know, people are like, oh, I grew up in a competitive family. Yeah, but, like, I could see you and Joe doing that. No. I have changed. Joe? No. Joe. Joe's competitive in other ways. Joe would not, like, implement that. Okay. He's someone that, like, if we're sitting on the beach, he's like, who wants to play a football? Like, yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on. Yeah. Like, he's he's got who that, like, antsiness. <laughs> but, yes, that, that was... I did catch myself, I have to say, in Hilton Head. We were all on the beach, and I did draw a line in the sand. And I said, Liam, do you want to race daddy? But it was more. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's also, like, he's two and a half years right. old. Right. Like, it was, like, funny. Yeah. Not funny, but it, we were just looking for things to fucking yes. play on the beach. Yeah. We were playing soccer. Exactly. Anyway. We the were, like. Invitational, when I think about this, and people are like, oh, I come from a competitive family. Or I wonder, like, mm -hmm. why I'm competitive. The fact that we used to have. A full blown like Olympics. Yes. When we would go on vacation, it's crazy. There would be sprints. There would be I remember like sit ups, push ups, mm -hmm. like this whole thing. We have a picture in Tuscany, Italy. Let's see if I can try to find it. I will post it on my stories the day this episode releases. There is a photo of us on a fucking track in Tuscany, Italy. It's and I don't think I ever knew realized how crazy that all was until now I'm older and like I'm like how did they why was why that were, what you want to do on vacation go, let's Italy. go find a track why did we, <laughs> like why did we go to a track why no it's that's it's so, my favorite picture ever of you let but me like see if I can. oh I found it <laughs> no I can't I can't like are you fucking dad also had hair at this age my haircut are we oh my god my sambas <laughs> <laughs> that's 
hilarious. Okay, I will post this on my stories. Wait, I need zoom in on me. This is <laughs> so. the best fucking picture of Lucy in the entire world. The <laughs> the two fingers. Um, I'm so young. Maddie's feet are so big. They're <laughs> literally the size of dad's. <laughs> Look at her sneakers. Okay. Oh my god, dad does have hair. I oh, know. I didn't know that, but. I just sometimes I'm like, what was happening? You're like so serious. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm in board shorts and a sports bra, I think. And Zambas. But um, yeah, like why is that what they chose to do? Like how do we even find a track in Tuscany? Yeah, I, I really just don't get it. I don't get it either. But it's something that's very interesting to me i think now as a parent when it comes to comp- for competition sure. not like yeah, it's yeah. like yeah if you want to play sports but um just how how big of it we made yeah it growing up or they made it there's two things you put on here if you want to take over and then i have a few other things i don't well, even I- really know if i need to talk about them why'd you put it in office because i'm going into the office and it's <laughs> that <lot. laughs> i'm fucking kidding that's that's it. That's the bit. That's the bit. I can't just like you. I'm going into the office three days a week, and that's new for me. And that was really. I thought all you've I always been doing that. Two days. Now it's a third. Oh man. Yeah, I just really like working from home. Anyway, that was all. That's why I said I don't think I okay. need to talk about it. I mean, I do think about the fact that I don't know how I used to live the life I lived. It's just so different. exactly I'm like, like that is that is insane to me. I think about the fact that I used to, like, be up at 4.30, like, get to the gym by 5. Like, the 5 a.m. berries. No, that's, that's fucking really not. I do wonder what that is like, if that if that culture still exists of girls who are doing the, like, 5 a.m. class. Mm-hmm. Like, that was such a specific moment in time where we were, like, yeah. all doing the 5 a.m. workout classes, getting ready in the locker room at the studio. Mm-hmm. Like, it was very girlhood. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It was, like... Yeah, all these strangers all, that's true but i do feel like now people working from home it's just such a like go whenever workout i know but but that also feeling, some people are in five days a week yes but that feeling of like the post 5 a.m 5 30 workout class of everyone like rushing to the showers putting on their makeup you're yeah. like borrowing someone from something from a stranger because uh-huh. you forgot something everyone's blow drying their hair like you're looking around being like what are the outfits like what do people wear to the office and then you all like scatter off mm-hmm. in my case to the different sales and trading yeah. programs what a life what a fucking life with that talking about girlhood i was thinking about this like i love girlhood mm-hmm. and group chats yeah with my like it nothing makes me happier than a group chat full of girls mm-hmm. it is the best like the laughter the giggles mm-hmm. it's just like so heartwarming and fun it makes me i just feel so blessed mm-hmm. always i forget what oh <laughs> like there was one I think I have a picture of me like hysterically crying at our chat after I had that story of yes. someone saying yeah. ridiculous things at a dinner party I was at. Yes. Like the that banter. That was so funny. That <laughs> has me. When we all were just like, what the actual fuck well, is going what on? What the actual fuck was going on? Yeah. But that banter has me so happy. It's the best. And so high on and life. And so like, and giggly. Just, like, I fucking love being a girl. I know. It's the best. It really like, is. Girlhood <coughs> rules. Speaking of girlhood, it's interesting. Yes. I, I'm doing really good at the bridges. I'm not going to lie of all of our points. You go, girl. Like, I'm just connecting mm-hmm. the fucking dots. Do you use the word girlfriend? Oh, I saw you. So it came in and I have a shared notes app. That Lucy adds nothing to? Yeah. Well, you know, she adds a lot. So I'm just like, okay, cool. G- clearly, mm. my additions are not <laughs> welcomed. <laughs> but <laughs> I get like a notification when she edits it and so sometimes i'll look and i'll try to guess what it is okay and it was like girlfriend in quotes <laughs> and ma'am in quotes these and, are two separate things but yes oh, okay and they're i was not, like they're who, shockingly not related who called her girlfriend and <laughs> she was weirded out by it or was like liked it <laughs> that's not how it went well i'm trying to think no i know what. i know okay so when you say do you use the word or the term girlfriend are you talking Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> or are you talking? Are you talking my girlfriend? Cammy. My girlfriend. 
hey girlfriend <laughs> that's because that's what i thought somebody said to you and you were like what? no but you know what i do say i say hey girly pop oh why do i say that okay i say it all the time on the phone yeah you do if people like, answer hey girly pop. pop i think that's fine okay if i'm telling a story i'll probably say my friend or like my best friend one of my best friends oh joe would hate you i know he would he's like you say he, everyone's your everyone's best friend. friend you can't have that many best friends um do okay. you use the word girlfriend Evid- i guess like evidently I am. well you know i say evidently a lot yes um no evidently i do use the well yeah i use the word girlfriend but i kind of thought that was normal but i've been realizing in my tiktoks a ticket talking that one, I said something like, I'm going, I, I was like, get ready with me. I'm going out to dinner with my girlfriend, blah, oh. blah, 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 blah. And some person commented, be like, not me thinking you're coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and at first I was like, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> and it had all these like rainbow emojis. So I knew what she was saying, but I was like, what do you even yeah, mean? Yeah, like, am I coming out right now? Like, I, I was done? like, did I do something? Like, yeah. what? Yeah. And then I rewatched it and I was like, oh. I sometimes like I'll see a get ready with me and it's like get ready to go out with my girlfriend and I do immediately assume that they mean actual girlfriend Interesting. I never watch that and think a friend a friend okay well then I did another one that was like going through I'm doing a series where I'm like reading baby products mm-hmm. not reading but like reviewing yeah, yeah. And I was like okay I packed up all of these because I'm giving them to my girlfriend mm-hmm. who's about to ha- give birth Lizzie's getting them all. Yeah. And someone commented being like, I love that you call your friend's girlfriend because my mom did that and it makes me happy. And I'm like, do we not do that? Do we yeah, do I don't. That? I, I'm i trying to think if I do. I don't think I do. I think I say just friend. But I do like that. I don't know the why girlfriend. I do it, but we're doing it. Yeah. The ma'am was. You were called ma'am. I sure was. Mm. We were at the wedding. Oh. This past weekend, so yeah. we were in the south. Okay. Mm. Oh, low country. Cut it. Easy. That, but I, I don't mean, think he gonna... was southern. No, but they're gonna do that. No, but I think like he was a guest. Oh, oh, oh. at the wedding. Oh. It wasn't like I someone who meant, worked like, there. Yeah. No, I no, thought no, you were no. talking about like they're <laughs> giving your food and no. it's like here you go, here you ma'am. Go, ma'am. I was no. like, That's, yeah. we're in line for the bar, and I think like maybe he like kind of turned and t- bumped into me. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, and I go, oh. ma'am. <laughs> oh yeah. I no. Said, <laughs> He probably was so embarrassed. No, we had great banter. He he was like probably our age. I mean, the bride and groom were like yeah. I mean, our age. I'm not your age, but uh, in between us, yeah, I would yeah, assume. Yeah. Sure. He kind of bumped into me and then goes, "Oh, sorry, ma'am. I think that's what happened. Whatever you call me, ma'am." And I go, "Ma'am." And he goes, "I'm sorry, my lady." <laughs> no. And I go, "My lord." He was it was very Jimmer vibes like Joe's best friend Naylor. <laughs> no. So like we had fun with it. I'm sorry, milady, milady. <laughs> but I was like, why did you call me? Ma'am? They love him. Yeah, maybe he like didn't see you at first, and then just in my dress that you also hated. I know. Yeah, okay. I did not like that dress. I know. I can't decide if I liked it either. But honestly, I just didn't care. It did remind me of your prom dress. Uh, oh, you said you look well, like a high schooler going to homecoming. I also stand by that. What homecoming are you even talking about? Like, okay. do you what? know that people have homecoming and they don't dress up like we did? People have people's homecomings like you get dressed up like fancy for. No, I did not know that. Our homecoming, we had themes. We did. Yeah, it was like in the jungle, okay. and we all dressed up as like, and the seniors would be like jungle animals. So the seniors had like a this. fun theme and then everyone else dressed up as like plants okay, or like, like jungle plants. When I was in high school. Like a palm, not a palm tree. <laughs> like that. Mm-hmm. You do- yes, it did, Kami. It did. You didn't dress up like formal. We didn't formal. But people, some homecomings, I think, are formal. Okay. Anyway, anyway that's what you were giving me in that dress. But it was also giving your prom dress. I actually hated that junior junior prom dress, and I'm going to pull up the picture. Um, oh, I loved it at the time. You well, loved you it were too. like five. Oh, I thought you looked. You were my cool big sister. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. 
Um, but my my major problem is that the straps were in, are the, in center. the center know, of the cup. I know. Well, you know what? Well, I'm just telling people. I, I'm not even saying like I loved it. Quite honestly, so you didn't have a choice. You had to and wear it. And no one really complimented me on it. Like no stranger came up to me at the wedding. I was like, oh my god, I love your dress. Like I do to so many people. I did see one comment. On your Return it. Hate it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, somebody, people are savage. I don't somebody care. was like. I absolutely hate that dress, yeah. and I was gonna comment. <laughs> me too. And be like me on my burner account. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> but then somebody commented back and was like, "Standing up for you." Yeah, that that one. It's it's the same shape. The straps are different, but it's the same like tight boob and then flowy. Like, like I can't. But somebody commented back on that With and was like, "That side side part, side part pony." Oh, when oh my god, the bangle. Wait, hold on. <gasps> that is a thick bangle see that, that doesn't that dress though like it is kind of like that no uh i know the the people were, look you know what no someone the, okay i do have thoughts on this yeah many thoughts mm-hmm. did i love the dress no yeah but i just i wore it to the wedding i don't really care yeah okay yeah i'm over it and that's fine the will i probably wear it again probably now because i spent money on it okay yeah the other thing is I posted a video in like these jeans and sneakers. Some person was not having it mm-hmm. and commented being like, what is up with these baggy jeans and dad sneakers? Like, it's so ugly. I hate this trend, whatever. I don't even think I res- or I don't think I even responded. I think like Bobby, the formula, because I tagged them in the hat. Resp- <laughs> no, they got your back. Responded being like love this cute fit or something yeah, yeah yeah and then the woman's like it's not cute in all oh. caps and i just want to remind people that like it doesn't matter if it's not cute to you a hundred percent if the person who's wearing it thinks it's cute then it's fucking cute yeah or like they're not asking for your opinion right to be fair the dresses you were asking I, I asked. opinions I, and that's why i'm not offended but if when you're people posting say they hated it. if you're posting just like an outfit tiktok and somebody's just like that's fucking ugly like First of all, wh- who the fuck are you to say that? Second of all, why do you care? <laughs> but, like, could you imagine walking up? This is what I think about. Whenever yeah. I get, like, a hate comment, it, the, the way that I mm-hmm. take it in stride is that I laugh about it because I envision these people coming up to me in person, in person. being like, I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> you make me so angry. Like, like your, your yeah. look is so horrific. That is so yeah. ugly. Imagine doing that to a person on the street. And they would Never. Never. Like, that's what's so crazy. I just can't fathom. I'm not, like, a TikTok commenter. The only TikTok comments I'll make is if I like somebody's something. I love commenting on TikToks. Hyping up. I'm never, like, yeah. Well, yeah. But you're also, like, you have an account. I get what you mean. Like, you yeah. could do that. I'm not. Sometimes I'll do it. But most of my comments are, like, oh, where's your shirt from? Where's your jeans oh God, from? I would like, love if I clicked on comments on the video that. and I saw you being, like, yeah. where's your shirt from? But I'm nice. I'm, like, love it. So you look so good. Yeah. Where's your shirt from? I, I can't fathom commenting something rude on somebody's TikTok that's <laughs> no, no, no. just making a TikTok. Like, if they're saying something, some crazy shit, fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to do it. But, like, if it's whatever. If they're just posing an outfit video, like, <laughs> what? The fuck? No, it's so funny to me. Like, because I've been doing this for years now, like, it is funny to me. Yeah. Because it's just like, that's Crazy. crazy sometimes i'll think it and that's well, fine duh. you don't need to post send that. it to your friends yeah send like, it to your friends that's my other thought i'm always like it makes me actually sad because i'm like do you not have people to talk shit with yeah jess sent me a study that said that something hold on if something like gossiping is actually good for your health or talking shit does that mean you're gonna start talking shit again cammy is going through a phase where she's anti talking shit no i'm not gonna talk shit again but that's my favorite thing to do well, I think there's like to an extent. It's it's I think there's And there's certain things that you can talk shit about and then there's certain things that you shouldn't talk shit about. Agreed. Agreed. For me it's also just like I don't I don't know. It, it I never guess. makes me feel good and I feel like whenever I talk shit about someone something or something happens. something happens and it comes back to bite me in the ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On the note of talking about shit, another great oh, bridge segue is I talked about this with my therapist yesterday. Oh, two therapy things I want to talk about. Okay. Where I said, I almost feel like I've lost my backbone 
because I want people to like me so much. Mm -hmm. I think it's tied into the job of like you do have to be liked in a sense. It's like literally like how many likes am I going to get on this? You know what I mean? But I feel like I've almost like let things slide so much where I'm like, at what point do I get to stand up for myself? Mm -hmm. And yes to the bullies but also like i had a very wild occurrence happen recently okay i don't don't think i can share like intimate details i have to tell you off mic because i actually have not told you this but someone said some fighting words to my face and i was just kind of like what wait like huh a friend or no no um not a rando not a close friend an acquaintance and I just kind of stood there and took it in stride because like what was I gonna do like wait what? I'm not picking a, like yeah, yeah yeah also she was drunk so like I think that played into it okay but it had me thinking like have I just lost my backbone and my therapist said no my therapist no was, like, I think you just were choosing to realize like it, that was not the place to like yeah sometimes you got to pick your battles yeah also if it's somebody like I think it totally depends i mean i don't know what happened so you have to tell me but i think it depends on like the setting there's a time and a place and also if you want to give it your energy and yeah i don't think that that's you not having a backbone okay i'll have to hear what she said and Mm. see if i they were fighting words (laughs) what the fuck (laughs) yeah it was wild a wild experience i I kind of was like i wish college cam could enter the chat for like a minute can you say it and then we'll cut it and then I can say what. Okay. Pa- yeah. Okay. We're back. We're back in. <laughs> I just heard. She just told me what she said. I would be so caught off guard. Yeah. At that. I wouldn't even know what to say. Like how do you. You can't. Right. It's not something that you can like engage with. No. It's not. It's not. It's just like the craziest thing. Mm-hmm. You can't really. I don't even know what you would say. Okay. So you agree. Yeah. But it also had me thinking about it. I would just be like, whoa, what? Like, haha, that's something that you, like, unfortunately have to laugh off because what the fuck are you going to say? Like, that is so uncalled for. Well, the other therapy thing was do you feel like you filter your thoughts? Like, do you think that there's a filter when you think something before it comes out of your mouth? Like, do I think before I speak? Like, do you ever have thoughts that just simply stay in your head? Yeah. I don't think I do. What do you mean? No, no, no. This is another no, thing no, I'm going to have to tell you. you don't say everything you think. Mm-hmm. I did not something so great recently. So I just feel like <laughs> I need to work on that. I told my therapist the situation, which I just don't feel comfortable sharing on here because it's not really – whatever. It's not my story. Well, it is my story, but it's not. And – Yeah, like you said something you shouldn't have. We're not going to say it again. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I said something I shouldn't have. Well <laughs> – Maybe the girl also that said those fighting words was like, whoa, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. But my therapist asked me, she's like, does this happen often? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, honestly, yes. I leave situations very often. And I'm like, why Why did did I say say that? that? No, I that happens to me, too. But but mine will be in a reaction where I'm like, sometimes I I feel like sometimes I say stuff like to mom or to you Mm -hmm. or Maddie, where like it's not even nice and then i'm like why did i say that yeah when you said that's not how it works honey yeah (laughs) (laughs) at the beginning of this yeah no but i get what you're saying like sometimes things just come out i think that's common with everyone where you're just like fuck why did i just say yeah my therapist wants me to work on it because i don't know how often it's part of yeah i think it's my adhd of just like like, well i think you're also in my brain you're also explaining things in i thought you were talking about like you'll just be sitting on the couch you have a thought you say it out loud you're Mm -mm. explaining situations where it's off the cuff like immediate just your gut reaction to say that and i think that's way more common where you're just like whoa oh why did i say that and it's not that it's like a crazy bad thing but you're just like oh like that was unnecessary it gets me in a little bit of trouble yeah you know you win some you lose some i lost that one yeah i definitely lost that one the last thing, two things. <laughs> two things. Um, do you watch TikTok on two times speed? 
yeah sometimes do you feel like we've completely lost it's so depressing oh it's actually horrible my attention my attention span is so bad okay let's go like if it's too long of a video i'll skip through or just like pass it like i'm like next i catch myself holding down to do two times speed on instagram stories Mm, yeah yeah i don't watch i can't i can't watch instagram stories really because i'm like oh god okay well how come you're always damning me then to mine well i watch yours oh thank you so you don't watch other ones no one hypes me up like mom yeah (laughs) that girl she she responded to a one the other day that was like I, I posted a photo of like joe had made our toddler's lunch and like put out two pieces of cake for us to eat mm-hmm. and she's like go cam go joe explanation point explanation point no i think her favorite thing to do is watch her instagram stories and then i posted <laughs> during my makeup i was saying that there was a cat outside and she goes is the cat in your bathroom <laughs> no no I'm straight like, cat in miss your bathroom what? Oh no, I agree. I think her favorite thing is to watch my Instagram stories. She, she because she, she gets it. mad at me the week that I take off oh, of Instagram she, that I'm spending it. with her. Yeah. I'm with her. And she goes, she's like, when are you I, back on Instagram? I feel like I don't know what's happening when you're on Instagram. I'm like, mom, we're, we're actually together. Yeah. Like, ask me anything. We've, we've yeah. been together. Dad also will call me so at the funny. end of like every day and recite to me or in the mornings, like the day before. He's yeah. like, oh, you did the yeah, little. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you watched my stories, yeah. Dad. That's so um, funny. <laughs> my last point. When was the last time you cried? Oh, we we were talking. We talked about this at um, Cedar, Cedar Lakes. Lakes. Oh, you're right. I get emotional when I'm on my period, for sure. Like oh, I'll just period. I just got it today, oh, which is like sisters. hopefully I'm on my vacation. My vacation not gonna happen today's friday i uh, leave sunday just got it yesterday no but in but our imaginary world we're hoping that record it. and you just yeah, tell yourself it it's done and then you play through done. everything you're done um so when i get my period i'll just like i could cry at the drop of the hat like i'll just okay. be sitting on the couch and i'll just like randomly cry and i was like what is going on and i'm like i have my period but other than that like not super often but like i guess like when i have my period but like what else i don't know okay i'm not really crying about do you ever cry because you're so happy um i have like sometimes not okay. often but i think that's also you're in a phase of life where like of yeah, course, yeah like agreed uh, what am i you know <laughs> what am i what am i gonna cry oh, about? Tyler, i love you so much yeah like what you did know? you watch one day no, i didn't and i can't because everyone's crying so hard No, but I need you it. to because mom I did really not cry and I cannot comprehend it. I already Googled what happened at the end. Oh, my God. I know. Why would you do that? Because everyone was talking about the last episode, the last episode, and I was like, I know I'm not going to watch it because I don't want to physically cry and be left so sad. So I knew something bad happened, no, so I had to Google I it. I was. But that's not a happy ending, and I can't do that. Okay. I need a happy ending. I want to read this book, A Little Life. Yeah, is that what it's called? I don't know. What Wait, but called. why did you put Maddie? Because she doesn't cry. Yeah, yeah. And it like, I think I cry me. more now than I used to. Like I used to never cry. Like never, I not on my period, cry. never. But now I'm like a little bit more, more of a crier. Okay. I guess. All right. Well, that's all I have for you. Thanks for joining. Oh, you just Actually, deleted all of our notes. You know what? Yeah, I did delete them. Um, I, I want to, I was just going to say, I want to give a shout out to our big sister, Maddie, because. Shout out, Maddie. Shout out, Maddie. Because right now we she is you. caring for her, my children. Yeah, she's watching her kids. That's she so just nice. texted me, do you want the blueberry or the strawberry oatmeal? In quotes. <laughs> and then my toddler, I already did the strawberry, so let's do the blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> because he eats three fucking mushes a morning. I can't. No, he's addicted. I addicted. Did the strawberries. So let's. And like, we got. I a love mush- him so no, much. No, I know. It's, it's who? Painful. What two year old says that? Like what? And we got a mush delivery, <gasps> and I go, buddy, look. I'm like, look, they got, you got a package. I was like, they sent it just for you because they know how much you no. love it. And he's like, oh my god. He like was obsessed with the boxes. He was oh so god. excited, and he was just pounding them, like pounding, 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 oh my pounding. God. I can't with him. I um, just want to follow him around all day. Me too. I wish day. I could put a gro- GoPro. Like, I no, actually, want... I wish I could just like have yeah 
hear their thoughts on a constant stream. Yeah. I just like want him right next to me. Just like me too. Sure. In my pocket. All right. I love you. Can't wait for you to have a third. <laughs> Bye. Love you.